Hello, my name's Dave, and I modified this DJ Hero controller to play as the character of Lucio in Overwatch. I'm using the Wii version of the turntable because it comes with a built-in joystick. The turntable is connected to a Teensy LC microcontroller which processes the inputs and converts them to keyboard and mouse commands using some custom firmware. The microcontroller acts as a generic keyboard and mouse device, so everything is plug and play. Moving the turntable aims horizontally, and holding the minus button switches to aim vertically. The green button fires, the red button jumps, and the blue button boots. On the base unit, the analog stick handles movement. Turning the effect dial up triggers Lucio's amp it up ability, while turning the effect dial down reloads. The crossfade slider corresponds to song selection. Right for speed, left for heal. The euphoria button uses Lucio's ult and the plus button activates the emote wheel. The controller also supports a two turntable setup. In this configuration, aiming is split between the left and right turntables, and the minus button disables aiming. On the horizontal turntable, the green and blue buttons fire, and the red button jumps. On the vertical turntable, all three buttons will boop, so the user doesn't have to search for a specific button. That's what I'm talking about. The user can switch which turntables used for horizontal aiming by holding down the Euphoria button on the base unit and the green button on the desired turntable for 3 seconds. This setting is saved, even when the controller is disconnected. This controller works great and is very satisfying to use, particularly with the crossfade and amp it up abilities, and when wall riding. Its biggest limitation is with vertical surfaces. Fighting on ramps is awkward, and Fair is a nightmare with the etch a sketch aiming. But other than that, it's fantastic. The controls are smooth, and it only takes a few minutes for them to feel familiar. It's not going to get me into top 500, but I'm happy I spent the time to put it together. Feel free to check out my blog for more information, which has links to the firmware and design files if you want to make one yourself. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.